Good morning everyone, today we're talking about travel photography gear and why I switched from Nikon to Panasonic to Sony. Let's go! All right guys, I hope you're having an amazing day. Welcome to Mars or the moon or I don't know where. We are in Utah right now. This place is just insane. I, I cannot do one mile without stopping to take pictures. It's just ridiculous. Today I want to talk to you about something that is very controversial. We're gonna go over there in the shade because the light looks a lot better. Look, it's been a while we haven't talked about gear and a lot of you have been asking what's in my bag, how do I use it, why did I change to Sony, what's up with the DSLR versus mirrorless, all that. So we're gonna chit chat about it while I'm showing you what's in the bag right now. First of all, got a tripod obviously so I can put the camera here. Now let me check if the angle is good. That's really cool. Closer. I changed like five times but I think I got it right now. The first thing I have is always my flexible tripod by Joby. Super practical. I use it for the videos. I put the camera here, hold it like that. You can put them absolutely everywhere on a tree, on a fence, all that. And when I say I don't carry a big tripod, usually I just carry that guy. This is the backpack you guys see everywhere. In every video, I am carrying that backpack. Even in the cities, I know it's not the prettiest, but it is so practical. And I think it kind of looks like adventure-ish, which is exactly what I want. So many of you have asked me, what is this? Well, this is actually a camera grip that is attached to the strap of my backpack and I just slide in the camera and it holds up like that. You might have seen it in a few videos or photos. The day I got it, I started using it all the time, never stopped. All right, and before any of you, the trolls, start telling me that everything has been paid and even Sony paid me to say anything. No one paid me anything to say anything. This is my opinion, this is my gear, I use it 24 seven and this is my baby. While I start unpacking the bag, I'm gonna tell you the story of how I got into Sony. So, first of all, a few years back when I got my first full frame camera, a, a Canon 5D Mark II, I was super excited, it was a great camera and all that. Then I started shooting weddings and portraits and I had a lot of low light situations and before I would invest in very heavy gear, like, you know, 2.8 lenses and all that, the very expensive ones, well, I decided why don't I check what are the other options because, you know, it's always possible to get something else the technology really evolved by the time I had had my 5D Mark II already. So I looked into Nikon and Nikon just released the Nikon D750 and that camera was a pure bomb. Like the Nikon D750 was $2,000 with the specs of a 3.5 plus thousand dollar camera. It was insane, got it for years until recently in January. What happened is, as you may know, we have been on a world tour with my wife for the past year and we do YouTube videos and I do all the photography, which means I need to do video and photos. So the Nikon D750 did not work out for video at all. It's not made for that. I got into Panasonic, a small G85, then a GH5. It was great, but the moment we started traveling heavily, having two cameras with me all the time was a real pain. I mean, that baby, when it's full for the plane, weighs about maybe 10 to 15 kilos with all the, the, the hard drive, the laptop, the cables, the chargers, the batteries, all that. It takes, yeah, it gets really heavy. So I really wanted to travel with one camera body. It, it is a liability because if anything happens to your camera and it breaks down, well, then you have no backup, but it also gives you more freedom of movement. Obviously, I wanted a camera that could do photo and video really, really well. Now remember guys, before you start hating on Sony or on Nikon or on DSLR or on mirrorless, who cares? It's all about what works for you. And what works for you is gonna be very different from what works for me. So just remember that. Understand what you want to shoot, how you want to shoot it, in what condition are you traveling a lot or not, and all that would influence the camera you want. So in my case, ooh, the light is hitting. In my case, it's no surprise that when I looked into the Sony a7R 3 when they released it, I was like, oh, maybe I can get the video and absolutely awesome sensor for the photos. And this is exactly what happened. This is what I did. I decided to sell all my Nikon and Panasonic gear and buy the Sony a7R 3 with the equivalent of what I had on Nikon, which I can tell you guys, it was a huge money investment. I'm gonna move a bit forward here. It was a huge money investment. But in my opinion, it was totally worth it because now I carry only one camera and it's, it's very practical. Also having one Zen system is great. If I get a second camera body, like a 
for example, A6500. I don't need to change lenses, which is great. All right, now we're done with the Sony story. Uh, I love this camera, it's absolutely insane. Let's show you what's in the bag. And in the meantime, while I'm unpacking that, let me know in the comments what camera system do you use? I'm super curious. Is it micro four third? Is it full frame? All that. I'm gonna have to back up the car a little bit more because of, of the shadows. One sec. All right, I think I've got an extra few minutes. I'm kind of lucky nothing fell down. So what's in the bag? The bag is a F-stop and drag bag. It's 40 liters, it's amazing, super durable. This is like super protected. Here, the first thing I'm gonna show you is I have a poncho, uh, like Amazon poncho that's like maybe $3, $4. It is a lifesaver. You need that all the time. Keep it in your bag all the time. This is the only thing that's gonna protect you from the rain. There is nothing else that can protect you. If you use something else, if you use a normal jacket, the water is gonna drip in your bag, drip along the bag, and any bag that has seams on the back, at one point they're gonna get the water. Maybe it's after five hours of hiking, but it's still something you don't want to happen. Now, inside the bag, it opens from the back, and you've got a compartment, which is really cool, because in the compartment, you've got the camera here. So normally I have the Sony A7R 3 here with the 16-35mm 2.8 and here inside also I have the drone. The drone is always there. I have a Mavic Pro, DJI Mavic Pro, super practical, little beast, absolutely amazing. I'm kind of curious to see what they're going to release with the Mavic 2. Although I don't think I'm going to be buying it right now because there is no justification for the money at this moment. Now guys, I have a quick question. I've got spare battery. Uh, the batteries, but when I smell it, it smells like uh, strawberry candy, kind of weird. It feels like there's some le leakage. I don't know if it smells that way. If any of you is technical here, let me know. Remote, a little thing to hold my phone if I, I want to take a time lapse and, and clip it on a tripod. Got a bunch of filters for the Mavic, which are polarized and ND. They're really good. What is that? The brand is Polar Pro. Usema is the big one I use. Very, very good, very practical. If you want to cut out the reflection, this is something. I'm preparing a dedicated videos on filter for very soon, so just stay tuned. So this compartment totally comes out of the bag, which is super practical, because if you want, you can just go walk around with this one. Now there is something missing in my bag. Hey, no, it's not missing. Look, it magically appeared. My baby, it's huge, it's heavy, but damn, it takes the best pictures ever. The intro you just saw, Half the shots were shot with that one when I was running on the road. It's just an absolutely incredible lens. It is the Magical 7200 2.8. It is huge, it is heavy, you will hate it and you will love it at the same time. This is the Sony version. I had the same for Nikon. I also tried the same for Canon. I've tried all of them and they're just incredible babies. They're really expensive. That is usually more than $2,000. That's why if you can't just buy it secondhand, that's gonna be really helpful. So apart from that lens, I use a 16, 35 millimeter that I'm shooting with right now, 2.8 Sony. It's a beast of a lens, I love it. I just wish that when you zoom in and out, the lens would not extend. My only regret, oh no, my second regret with that lens is that it's not stabilized. I, I just don't understand why that, I mean, I think it's a bit sad, but Hey, you can't have everything in life. So what else is in the bag? Random plastic bag, you always need a plastic bag. Battery pack, battery pack, lifesaver. This battery pack is called Only Charge. I got it on Kickstarter when it was really cheap, like $100. It charges your MacBook Pro 15 inch, 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 which is insane. Look, it's got the normal AC plug. It's got two outlets for USB. It's got an outlet for this also. And I can basically charge my MacBook straight from here straight into the MacBook. It's it's just super practical, guys. Uh, but now those guys are super expensive. So if you have the budget, good. Otherwise, uh, yeah, find another solution, I would say. GoPro Hero 4 Black. Yes, great action camera. You always need one somewhere if you're going in the dirt, if you're going in the water. Love the GoPros. Don't use them as much as I did in the past, uh, definitely, but always use it in the water or for surfing, all that. Anything action is great. You just stick it on an element and you get those awesome shots like that feels very first person. Now here I've got a new thing that I just received the other day, super excited. This is just a bag, but inside 
it is amazing filters and I put all my filters in that little bag that it's a little bag you can find on Amazon I dropped the links below it was like nine bucks I think I've got polarizing filter in here polarizing and ND filter those guys are insane Polar Pro just released those new for normal cameras not just for drones and they reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to test them. I said, obviously, no, I don't want to test. Of course I said yes. Who am I joking here? Quality, super impressed. No call out cast so far. I'm making a whole video on how I use filters very soon. I was supposed to shoot it in the canyon. I told you guys, but it didn't work out because a lot of you have been asking. And also I just didn't know how to use them until recently. So I just want to share with that. I have an adapter ring, so I don't need to buy two filters. I just buy the largest of the filters then buy an adapter ring so I can fit it on a small lens that's a trick guys save money where you can so something i always have with me have no clue what the name is in english but this is called a mousqueton and i use it everywhere i just attach stuff on my backpack i attach my camera i attach lenses always have one on you it's super great and maybe also if one day you're in a life death situation that could save your life that can hold nine tons you might have noticed i just abandoned the sun is is here we're just gonna deal with it figs I don't know why it's in my bag right now. I just love it. It's super good. What else? Got a knife. Ooh, I love that knife. I mean, I don't really use it much except for cooking and stuff. Super great because we're camping right now. But the coolest part ever is that part. Look at that. Oh my God. Be careful when you use knives. But look at that. This is a Firestone and I can make sparks. This is amazing. Don't do it towards the camera because the sparks are going to damage your lens. I did that mistake once. I won't do it ever again, I'm telling you. Next, we have a hard drive box. Okay, I've got a few hard drives in here that I carry with me everywhere. Just a quick note, a lot of you have asked how do I manage all my files when I'm traveling? How do I do all that? I think I will make a video for you guys because it's very important. I have friends who lost everything and I think you must never lose your footages. So that's just one of the two versions I have of everything. Boom, and then here we've got the most important, which is a tiny box here that is waterproof, dustproof, all that with all my memory cards. Super important. You really need a sturdy box like that. Same, everything is on Amazon or on eBay. It's very practical. Passport, passport, essential when you're traveling. Trail wrap thing, put it around here. If I wanna go rob a bank or something. No, I'm kidding. Okay, nothing else here. Oh yeah, you also have a little pocket here, which is super important. I've got business cards in here and I've got also that battery. You always need extra batteries in life. I was afraid that the Sony SM03 would like have like super short battery life, but actually it's holding up really, really, really well. I can shoot a whole day with one battery, which is great. Now, if I'm on a longer trip, I need the extra batteries. Top pocket, intervalometer. I started using them recently also because on the Nikon, it was built in the camera. Sony removed it. I, I just, I, I don't know why. Don't ask me. I made a whole video about what I don't like about the Sony A7R III. You can go check it out. Bar to survive, just in case you get lost in the nature because you're shooting too much. And then here, sunglasses. You look much cooler as a photographer with sunglasses, right? Rice paper, great if you're shooting. Basically removes sweat on your face and makes you look better. So this is everything that's in my camera bag that fits my needs. As you can see, I don't have the billions of accessories. I just try to keep super lean and practical because when you're traveling, this is what you want. You want something that's accessible, that's practical, that's lightweight. And that is something that you will use. That is the most important. Like there are stuff you never use and I think uh, that don't really help. I forgot to show you one thing. Right. Let me the just get it and I come back. The one thing I forgot to show you is actually the gimbal. So this is a Feiyu Tech A2000, which is a really, really good product. I mean, I wasn't a big gimbal user before, but now I started using them for travel videos. It makes a huge, huge difference and stabilization for your shots. It's actually pretty lightweight, super easy to handle. Got a little tripod here. I haven't used it yet, but there is a function where you can time the movement of the gimbal, which means you can take a time lapse and have the gimbal follow, for example, the stars or turn around the road in a time lapse, which is something I really need to try here in Utah. I think it's going to look amazing. So, hey, should we make a tutorial or a challenge with that? 
let me know in the comments. The most important to remember here is that the gear has to fit your needs. It doesn't matter what I use, what is important is what you are going to use. Okay, so for me, for traveling, I want something lightweight, I want minimal amount of gear, and I want something that is very portable, okay? So I might not take big filters. I have only circular filters I can uh, screw in and that are fairly light that I can bring with me everywhere. Yes, I would love to have more gear sometimes, but to be honest, that fits 99% of my needs, which is absolutely the most important part ever. I hate carrying too much gear that I don't use. So that's exactly why this is my bag and everything that is inside. All right, guys, now I want to hear about you. What's in your camera bag? What is your favorite piece of gear? Which one can you not live without? Or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I can't wait to hear from you guys. I've been so excited about being in Utah. This whole place is incredible. I highly recommend you to come here one day. Uh, it's just madness. There are places. I mean, how many cars have you seen past me right now? Like maybe three? That's all. And Look, it's a desert, it's amazing, I love it. Leave a big thumbs up for that video, share it with the world, with people who are traveling, it might help them. And remember, remember, there's a SUB, SCREB button, smash that button, hit that notification bell, ring it, it's gonna make a huge one, it's gonna be amazing, and I will see you in the next episode. Go shoot, no excuse, it's not because you're not in the desert that you can't go shoot. Just a, just a last little note, guys, before you go, if you watch this, make sure, Woo! Make sure you come say hi on Instagram. Lots of behind the scenes. You will see everything that's happening behind the camera. Can't film everything for YouTube, so we just spill a bunch of stories. Come join, say hi, and see you on Instagram. Bye. On my camera, on my back strap, on my on this thing, on the strap, I got uh, so on this strap, I've got a. <coughs>